Hi and welcome to this first Gyro and Bitbucket tutorial. In this tutorial I'll show you how Gyro and Bitbucket work together. Let's start. The first thing you need to do is make sure that Gyro and Bitbucket are linked. To check this go to the settings on the product, go to integrations and check if your Bitbucket workspace is linked to Gyro. OK, you are now ready to work with Gyro and Bitbucket. Open the backlog of the selected Gyro project and create your first user story. Through the link between Gyro and Bitbucket, you now see the possibility to create a branch directly from the created user story. Clicking on Create Branch in Gyro will open Bitbucket and suggest you create a feature branch directly on the linked repository. In Bitbucket, you can now select the repository and the branch from which you want to create the feature branch and its name. The feature branch should contain the issue ID from the user story. You have now created the feature branch in Bitbucket. The example code is a Java Spring Boot application. For the example, I want to edit the README file and then merge it into the master via pull request. Let's now check out the branch in my IDE and edit the README file. I fetch the create a branch from the Git repository and check out the branch locally. Now I can edit the README file. After I have adjusted the file, I check whether it has recognized the change via git status. Then I stash and commit the change to the local repository. The commit message should include the issue ID so that Gyra and Bitbucket can link the commit to the user story. Now I can push the change to the feature branch from the remote repository. I'm now switching back to Bitbucket. Now let's have a look at Bitbucket pipelines. Pipelines are configured on the feature and master branch. You can see that there is a pipeline running on the current feature branch. Here I can see which step is currently running. There are three steps configured on the feature branch. While the pipeline is running, I want to merge my change to the readme file on my feature branch into the master branch. To do this, I create a pull request. In the pull request, I choose to close the feature branch after it is merged. This way, I make sure that there are not many branches open that are no longer needed. On the pull request, I see that the pipeline build for this change is still running. In addition, I can see which user story this pull request is linked to through the linked commits. On the pull request, for example, findings could also be recorded by the reviewer as a task for the editor. Let's now take a quick look at whether the pipeline build has run successfully. The build is now green and we can now merge the feature branch into the master branch. In the merge dialog you can close the user story directly in addition to the commit message and the merge strategy, if you wish. However, I will not do this here. Now the feature branch has been successfully merged into the master branch. Let's go back to the pipelines. The continuous deployment on the test environment now runs automatically on the master branch. With the on-field circle, you can see that there are still manual steps open here. You can see that the deployment to the test environment was successful. 
but the deployment to the stage and production is still open and requires a manual step. The deployment section gives you a good overview of the environments. Here you can see at a glance on which stage which status is deployed. In addition, you can deploy a status from one environment, here using the example of the test environment, to the next higher environment. You can see here how the deployment is completed after execution via the deployment button from the test environment to the staging environment. The deployment to the staging environment is now complete. Let's now go back to our user story in Jira. Here I now see some linked development information on the user story. When I open the metadata, I see the linked commits, pull requests, builds and deployments. Now let's go back to the pipelines and do the deployment to production. With the click on deploy, I trigger the deployment to production. Back in Jiro, I see the ongoing deployment to the production environment. I hope you now have an insight into the possibility of the integration between Jira and Bitbucket. If you have any question or confusion, please feel free to use the comment function. Thanks for watching and see you soon.